welcome back to another video. I still have stuff coming. Don't worry. Um, none of it's in this video. I just stuff that I already have. Um, I do have my cool Raichu shirt on. I think it's Raichu. He's got the zigzag tail, right? I don't think Pikachu has that. He just has like the normal. Anyway, I don't play Pokemon. I have no idea. Um, I just got this as a gift and it's kind of neat, even though it doesn't fit super well. Oh, well, it's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a concept that I heard secondhand from James Markey, the Jim Markey. Um, someone who took a lesson with him posted something that he said in their lesson. Hopefully this is correct if you're a student of his. Or James, if you're watching this channel, please find something better to do. I trust that you have something better to do than watch this channel. But please correct me if this is wrong. Um, he says that every note that you should, every note that you play should have three aspects to it. Triangle of sound. It should have core, it should have warmth, and it should have brilliance. These things are not necessarily all equal. You're not doing all of them exactly 33.33 repeating percent, but all three of them should always be in every single note. And the more I think about this, and I've thought about it a lot, it's literally kept me up at night after reading it. Um, the cooler it is and the more the more uh, deep the concept is that than it appears on the surface, I think. This is just a preliminary video. I want y'all to think about this, maybe post some comments about it, what you think, perhaps. Um, I'm gonna think about this more um, and do a fully fleshed video later on. Maybe I'll talk to Jim about it as well. Uh, but anyway, I think it's a really cool concept. Um, not only just on the surface that, yes, you need all three of these things to just have a good sound, um, but the fact that you can dial those things in different directions for different dynamics, different scenarios, different instruments. I think the doubling aspect of this is very, very interesting. Um, and I have a feeling, including myself, that there are a lot of players out there that are not aware of all three ends of this triangle. Um, I think there's a lot of um, people who are even more advanced players um, who maybe only do the, the core and the warmth part of it, or maybe even just the warmth part of it, or just the brilliance part of it. And you get the idea that that's a good sound, um, but I think most people will find out that if you add in all three of those things all the time, you're just gonna sound way better. And that it's actually kind of difficult to do all three. Um, once you do and you have like an efficient setup and you're playing well, it's definitely more natural, um, but it's very easy to only play in a brilliant way or in a warm way. Uh, the core way, uh, it's kind of hard to do just core in my opinion, but uh, I think it's very, very interesting. Um, again, I think the doubling aspect of it is very cool because for me, it's very hard sometimes to switch between um, like large tenor and bass. They sound pretty different, but don't feel hugely different like in the hands. And so sometimes it's like, whoa, a massive difference to my, my ear to hear a different sound when I pick up the instrument and play it. Um, and I think it'll be really interesting to kind of dial in like, oh, I want more of these aspects of the triangle and a little bit less of this one. Um, and even picking up something like bass trumpet, I talked about it having less warmth. Yes, that's a part of the triangle that is gonna be much less uh, present on that instrument than the other two. Even the core part of it, you know, there's still gonna be some core, but a lot of that sound is brilliance and that's what it's supposed to be and that's totally fine. Um, I will say that there's, of course, there's other aspects to sound. It's not just those three things, but you have to have those three things or the sound just isn't quite there. I don't think you can really pass it off as an actual good sound uh, without those three things, three things always being in appearance. So anyway, think about that again, core, warmth, brilliance. Always those three aspects in your sound. Um, I'd love to hear what y'all think. I'm going to think about it a lot more. I woke up at like six yesterday and I was just like, ah, how do I apply this? And I just, I think it's super cool and uh, it's going to change the way that I play. So let me know what you think and I'll get back to you soon. Bye-bye.